this is the third This and is last... the demo. You, yeah, yeah. And also, the thing here, uh, in the teaser trailer, this is where uh, Rayman was created. So, oh, wow. that's the thing. Have any gave a fair enough skirt? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would have liked to have seen the um, actual origin story on how, or like how they would have done that. Well, Rayman was created as a guardian, wasn't he? Or something? Basically? Like, the guardian to the glade. Yeah. Created by the Bubble Dreamer, I think was the original? Uh, no. Uh, he, uh, Rayman was created by the, uh, nymphs, which are the fairies. That were rescuing, like, front, like, the one the that ones, gets power-ups. The ones that are, we're rescuing you right now, yeah. Or as everybody likes to say, with slutty fairies. Oh, gosh. <laughs> sure. Were you, were you trying to avoid saying that? I, that wasn't on my mind, but sure. Well, it sounded like Scrappy was trying to not say that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, God. I always I always mess it up a few times. <laughs> yeah, at least it's not Rayman 1 Bandland. Everyone always complains about Bandland. What's so bad about it? Uh, there's a specific stage where you're, you have to balance on really small platforms with ice physics, and if you mess up, you're going to die and fall in a pit. Angry Bird! Woo! Pretty much. How about you don't have to... All the pigs are dead. Hmm. Alright, hold on, I'm gonna go test my dash quickly, whatever you want. So how about the Angry Birds movie? That was a good movie, actually. I haven't seen it. I don't- I haven't seen it, I saw a trailer when I was watching another movie, and- I was expecting video game movie a little bad. Yeah. It, it looks, was alright. Yeah, it looks nothing like the actual uh, game. Okay, I didn't get as much many lunches as I'd like. I mean, the Ratchet and Clank movie um, I thought was pretty good. Mm. The less said about the Mario movie, the better. Mm. You don't have to say anything, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best I movie. Hope you, I hope you're saying that's a guilty pleasure. Oh, there's no guilt for me, it's just a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> You actually like it that much? Hey, I I like Secret Rings, so. <laughs> All right, good for you. I haven't played it. <laughs> I can tell you right now, Jason hates it. <laughs> I don't like to say hate ever, usually. No, but. Yeah. But uh, it's definitely my least favorite Sonic game that I played. You haven't played Sonic Labyrinth, clearly. I no, I played that... on the game. I played on the game. I played it on the mid clock. Uh, not mid clock. The uh, it, it was unlockable in, in Adventure yeah. One DX, right? Yeah, that. Yeah, that's the way I played it. Yeah. Lover I played that. I didn't. I didn't. I was just like, okay, this is a thing. I yeah, just. Kinda, I, 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 I just don't. Kinda, I just gotta say, meh. I don't think Labyrinth is like horrible, but it's definitely mediocre at least. It's not what Sonic needs. It, it's the. It's the opposite. I think Johnny said it best once that it was. It's the direct opposite of what Sonic needs to be. Yeah. You know, faster and all that. Yeah, I mean, you can go fast in that game, but like, it's at the cost of control. Dangerous. Cost of control. And when you aren't. Although spin at least, at least we get to see Spike's wall, man. Yeah, and I like how the story is just basically uh, Eggman walked into Sonic's house and replaced his shoes. Like, I'm not even joking. That's the plot. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Oh, man. Sonic was stretched a bit thin in the 90s. Yeah, people... Like... Sonic had, uh, some... Bad... Some, uh, bad games. Even in the classic era, as well. Like... 3D Blast is mixed. Yeah, 3D Blast is mixed. Nearly everyone hates Labyrinth. Uh, Sonic Blast is pretty... Forgettable. Like, you can play what that. About, uh, what was that one to the Neo Geo? Uh, uh, Sonic that... Pocket Adventure. I've heard, I heard I... that one. Was... I heard that one's actually pretty good. Yeah, I've heard that one's good. I have it on Emily. I I need to play that at some point. Our pirate. I think uh, the way you get to one of the stages is literally Knuckles just punching you to the sky. <laughs> It sounds amazing. Yes, I want that. And the final boss has Sky Sanctuary. 
with for music. S yeah, for some reason. Da 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 da. And it's just supersonic in space. So before da, da, I met you, did that. Da, 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 da. I mean, it's heroic sounding, but. Now I got the final boss theme. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I'm not really gonna be using the uh, other costumes at this point because it's basically just Rayman, Glowbox, Teensies, and a bunch of random costumes. I appreciate Legends giving you Barbara. Yeah, yeah. Because, because as Scrappy said, the Teensies are literally blue toad, yellow toad. I have no issue with that. No, it's fine. It's fine. But like that extra character to make it like a full rounded for. Uh, unique characters makes it a little more sweeter. Yeah, it's also easier for when you play multiplayer to just stare on yourself. Yeah. Unless your brain scratch and all play of Barbara's. Wait, really? Is that what they did? Basically, yeah! Oh my god. Oh, I, I still need to watch that playthrough. Uh, well, How but, bad did it go? Uh, I don't remember. I remember Lewis died to part with her uh, by just smacking everyone. <laughs> Oh, are we going to one of these levels? I forget oh, where to... over the rainbow? Oh, oh uh, a, uh... okay, no, this is a uh, level um, to the next world, kind of, but... They're really short, and basically the gimmick, and all you need to do is make sure you get all of them as red. Yeah. Make a bunch of money. Uh. Yeah, yeah, as the, as the magician says, the moolah, in, in, the alums are the sweet moolah of the latest dreams. Yep. I think I just. Yeah, I think I've got enough. I think it's too hard. For the, uh. What? What, for the metal? Yeah, I think it's 200 or 250. It might be 250, but. Who cares? Okay, no, we're good. 200. Boom. 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 Love those lums. Yep. Hump it. Woo! Woo! And Raymond does dance. Indeed. Teensy's doing his clapping motion, don't they? I think so, yeah. Barbara does this, like, whip horse thing. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, wait, that means we can go do those levels now. Yep. Up there, one, we'll of favorite that theme, one of my favorite themes. Oh yeah, the music in this game is great. Yes, I can. It's argued. <laughs> it can be argued which game has the better soundtrack, but I I'd say this game has more memorable tracks. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Banjos make everything better. I'm remembering in Legend, the very first tricky, tricky treasure level they showed it, it was the dark one from the second visit. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, but the gimmick yeah. is run. Yeah, because like Legends Back to Origins doesn't have all the levels and it only has like some of the tricky treasures. So. Yeah. I I was so worried when I got to the underwater one because I remember that one gave me so much trouble back then. Mm. But it helps, in, for most part, it helps with the tricky treasure if you follow his pattern directly. Yeah. Also, no, you have to know when to do a full jump and a tap jump. And a spin jump, even. Yeah. And there is n almost no room for error. Yeah. Da 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 da. <laughs> I love when they pop out. Yeah. Kind of wish the were like. I mean, the music levels kind of like uh, a kind of replacement in Legends, but they aren't as challenging. Right. The, they, yeah. the, <laughs> these gems are are ruby teeth of some kind. You need you you need all of them in order to ask access the land of the living dead. Basically, yeah. There's ten. Eight? Yeah, that's ten. And they get progressively harder. Oh yeah. And now we're getting to another a uh, reoccurring level theme that's basically after every 
right before the next world. And I do I like, like it too. I, I, I like these a lot because it's a really cool tra way to transition. Yeah, you like you'll visually see the next world layer. Yeah, you're at and you're like you're actively going to the world. Yeah. So, and I love the next level world too. So yeah, we um I think it's Bazit, this uh, mosquito, but we rode him in Rayman 1 in like a small, a short section, and now there's like full areas dedicated to this. He was the boss too, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, yeah, he was. Um, well, he was like a mini boss. The set, the uh, main mosquito you thought was another one. Uh. And I know. In um in Rayman 2, at least in the uh, original N64 version, there are mosquitoes around, but they weren't really a main thing. They're just background. Yeah, in the uh, Revolution, Bazit was actually a character you had to uh, rescue, I think, to get to one of the sanctuaries. Oh. Which is kind of interesting. And yeah, I don't really yeah. use this, but you can suck uh, things up as well. I heard something about sucking, what are we doing? <laughs> oh man. But yeah, you can also ricochet your shots as well, uh, which is something you're gonna wanna do later. Oh yeah, seriously. Another uh, game I can compare this to, I guess, is the final world in Return to Dreamland in the Suns. Where are those missiles coming from? Uh, those little holes. Silos. Yeah. My dad almost got pissed because he went out and I almost forgot to text him. Uh. I love the music in these stages as well. Da, 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 da. He did. <laughs> Problem with that talking to me is you stop. Oh yeah, you can't move when you do that either. There's, there are some like sometimes I guess it can be useful like you're sucking up big things like this and cheering. And cheering out a bunch of enemies, but other than that, I don't really see much of a use for it. These are also pretty simple, and, and for the most part, simple enough to get. Oh, well, and you need to put this kind of guy. Yeah. It's simple enough to be the aim to uh, get the uh, metal in. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, we've, we've got already... enough. We already got it. Yep. I thought we were gonna land for a second. Uh. Yeah, I'm not giving him any chances. I forgot most of the early bosses were in the shooter levels. Yeah, all the bosses at this half the game is just the shooter bosses. Once I get to the second half, is when things get interesting. Hmm. Now, these aren't interesting, but. Yeah, fun little challenge. I love the sex world we're in. Although, as we're going by the usual Mario, like. Trope. It's a. Yeah, but it's a unique take on it. It's not my favorite world, but it's cool. Yay! Also, I think of the uh, other skinny portrait or whatever. Um, that's basically there for like multiplayer, where the one of the least lums uh, collection collected will go on that one instead. Once you're playing, yeah, if you're playing two, uh, three or four players, they're like hide, they're like hang up the side of the thing. Yeah. Yeah, boo, yeah. Desert of didgeridoos. Indeed. Yo. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Hi, did you do, player? Well, it's crap to get the joke. Well, I was thinking of Crash. 
<laughs> it's a spy. That's right. It's a SpongeBob reference. Uh. <laughs> it's just one episode where it's like uh, SpongeBob like was the he made his own Sunday and it made his breath horrible. Huh. And there's like a marching band going through the town, and like one of his, he's just naming every single one of them. Hmm. Like he's like, hi, Zamri player. How's the hi, did you do player? And they just cut to like this folk player or whatever, just sitting on the ground playing a did you do. Like, boom, 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 boom. Uh, oh, man. I don't know why one detail I like in that scene in particular is the fact that if you look at someone's like, other band players, one of them, one of them looks at it. Uh, the did you do player? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, this uh, those things remind me of the purple ones slightly. Mm. But yeah, this is uh, basically a much more fair bad land. So, hey, the didgeridoos! Yeah, the only difference really is that we're in a desert. I do kind of like, kind of like, huh? What are you saying, Harry? No, I do, I do kind of like uh, these music theme levels. Like, I don't think platformers do enough of these kind of levels. Uh, I remember the Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom game did have a music themed section in one of the levels. Oh, it was Squidward, it was Squidward's dream in the, uh... Yeah. I know, That's... yeah. That was a pain to get through. Advanced oh, the Mr. 2... Crab section was what got me. Uh, Sonic Advance 2 has a, has music part, right? Okay. Music, no, music part's the level from Mario Kart. Uh, what is this? What is the level called then? I'll look it up. Alright. Let's see, uh. Okay, now we gotta open a new tab. <laughs> Sonic. And. It may have been. Uh, it may have been, uh. Music Park, actually. One. Two. Music Plant. Oh, okay. I love the music there, though. Hmm. I didn't miss something, did I? Oh. I really <laughs> wish I had the uh, helicopter hair right now. <laughs> well, that's your next power up, isn't it? I think so. I think so. Yeah. Suffering some withdrawal from Donkey Kong Country Three. But, also, um, I apologize, viewers, for being absent from that. I what was I doing that day? Doing scrappy things. Ah, uh, yes, I was at an orientation. Yeah. College. I can yeah. Try and wait. No. Uh, I'll do it the proper way. Somebody messaged me on Discord. Apparently. It was Harry. Several. Like, no, it, it, yeah, it, it was in the, uh, it's in the, uh, sky, it's in the C's chat. Mm. I was, it was where you messaged Josh saying we can watch Star Wars. Yeah. Hey, aren't you gonna get that? Yeah, I will. I don't know if the coins matter with the red, with the uh, kings. Yes, they do. Yeah, they do. Everything matters. Doesn't feel like they had. Oh, let me, uh, check that. Because how much are they... Normally, like 20? Roughly. Because yeah, if, like, if, like, the hearts do matter for that too, then I would imagine the coins do. Ow. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that was totally more. Yeah. Let's see, like... You know, not that I'm not interested in this, but, you know, I might be playing Utopia in the background. Uh. Oh, there, there she is. Yep. Well, that's the first, like... Just came in a little bit where I... Oh, just the power right there, see? Oh, yeah, I never noticed that. The what? It's using uh, the glide. It's sort of like how the boss is in Metroid uh, Prime 2 
use the power or no no inventory fusion rather get use the power ups that you gain yeah mm. yeah eventually they just come to a stop and just go around a specific area power the real, to fly the real reason for the animation engine <laughs> Fly, kinda. Not really. You can now do everything you do in every other game. Basically. <laughs> Basically. Actually, in Rayman 1, didn't you also need to do, like, the first level before you can even attack? Yeah, you couldn't attack until, like, after the first or... Yeah, I think it's the first level. Yeah! Da -da 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 -da. Oh. Oh, finally. Yeah, it feels good. Also, ground pounding like that just makes all the lungs appear, so it's just easier and quicker to do. Make a chapter of your head. <laughs> Sounds like something mean wood chips again. Huh. I think it's pain chips, actually. Whatever. Oh gosh, pain chips. Space invaders. Basically, yeah. Uh... Destroy all of them. Ow. Oh. Dang it. You are terrible at Space Invaders. Mm. Most people are. Actually, yeah, when I was at the... Uh, it was a different kind of Space Invaders, but I got the high score on this arcade machine one time. Uh. And I felt really good about that. Mm. What was the score? Um... I don't remember what it was exactly. I have a picture somewhere on my phone. <laughs> and I'll be right back. Okay, yo. So, uh, Scrappy, what's your experience with the Rayman series? I played Origins. I played a demo of Rayman 3. I played Rayman 2 Revolution and got bored and that's it. <laughs> yeah, I'm a... I'm a good person. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, Rayman 2, I, I like Rayman 2, but yeah, it's, um, compared to 3 and these uh, Origins and Legends, it's a lot slower in terms of its pacing. Godborn may have been too, was definitely too strong, um, I got motion sick. <laughs> yeah, I was just talking about, uh, uh Scrappy's Rayman experience. No. Oh, by the way, I just remembered something about the power-ups that kind of, it's a little disappointing. What's up? Um, aside from the attack and, and the glide and the, swim, and, and, and the swimming, um, the power-ups are kind of situational. Yeah, there's, uh, two other ones where you can run on walls and, um, uh, like, go shrink. shrink. The shrink one is really situational, but I do like the, um, run on walls thing. Mm-hmm. So I think it's used. I think that's used better in Rayman Legends. Mm -hmm. Uh, but um, since I asked Scrappy, what's your Rayman experience, Jason? Um, my first Rayman game was Rayman Two. Right. Um, on N64. Um, I remember struggling so hard with the final boss. Oh yeah, yeah. And but like it, but it took me a couple week day. I, I didn't actually get past the uh, the cave of bad dreams for a couple days because mm -hmm. it was terrifying to me as a kid. Uh, the the uh, level. I jumped right back into the entrance portal. The level itself didn't terrify me, but like the chase sequence, just man, no flows. I was very young. I'm like, no, 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 run back. <laughs> what was your reaction when the guy started chasing you? <laughs> uh, okay, it's it's probably not DKC one game over screen bad, but it's getting there. Well, the music didn't help. Yeah, did a very like like I'm gonna kill you kind of like chaser vibe. Yeah. At least the boss is pretty easy. In in fact, besides the final boss, the bosses in Rayman Two are really perfect. Yeah. One of them you just ride. Is it like 
That's the one where it just goes into a lava and he's yeah. just riding on the head. Yeah. Um, I think in one of the- I forget which version it is, but- Oh. I can't do that. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Yeah. Um, in, um, one of the versions, the, it's not actually even a boss. The guy just says, Oh, Ruben, you- I need- There's, like, enemies up ahead. You, you need to go and kill them, and then random crap. And <laughs> it's just kind of random. Oh my god, that sounds funny. Ah! Uh. I'd be able to do that in Legends. Sure. Because the controls, they're good, they're good in this game, but they're tightened up a little bit in, in Legends to make it a little bit more smooth. I bet you can't wait to revisit Legends. <laughs> well, actually, are we doing Legends with a channel? Seas Brain or? Seas. Uh, eventually. I've uh, already uh, edited both the both games. Oh, you already recorded it? Yeah, they're both edited, recorded, and I just need to upload them. I was going to upload Origins earlier, but there was already too many stuff uploading at the time, and it was getting clogged up. I uh, see. Mm, that was kind of a mess. Uh. Why are so many birds in this level? Because... Reasons. Because Rayman. Basically. Are they supposed to be songbirds? I'm trying to remember that Eminem song, Mockingbird. <laughs> when I when when people say Eminems, I think of chocolate. <laughs> Don't we all? Yeah, I'm hungry. What the hell? Yo, the what? game glitched. There's no music playing right now. Oh. In a music level, even. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm at time for Rayman's face starts to fall off. Yeah, that's never. Then again, I say the worst instance of like the music being messed up for a game like this is the HD port of the uh of the uh Sly Cooper collection. Hmm. When you're fighting Miss Ruby, it's a it's a rhythm, and the thing is the music's right. not synced in the HD. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, uh, in, in the, the PS2 version, it's synced. It's yeah. It's like all the music is synced with the act, and it's like slowing down even the right points. Yeah. Uh, speaking sp speaking of um music or uh, sound issues, um I ran into like with the music just not being that. I ran into that issue when playing Sonic Mania. Apparently, it's only an issue with the Switch version for some reason, where the music just stops playing. Uh, I didn't. Uh, it didn't happen for me. Yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't happen to me often, but it happened during the Metal Sonic fight, so I was just kind of running and uh, through the pathway, just being like, okay, uh, is music going to start? So, the music stuck doing, uh, 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 uh. No, I didn't hear anything, it was just silence. Uh, no, no, that'd be funny, though. Yeah, that'd be funny. I, I could hear him better, so that was a thing. There's cues. Yeah. Yeah, I got the polka dot gown for my, for my friends. Princess uh, class. Um, favorite Rayman game? Origins, because it's the only one I've beaten. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm tied between three and Legends. Rayman 3. I can go back to this game, uh, but go back to Rayman 3 any day of the week. I also, well, I, I also like how. Uh, Legends and uh, three both had like like a real a real song. <laughs> yeah. Like I remember the commercials for like the YouTube commercials for Legends. It was like playing. Uh, I forget what the song was called exactly. And I think it was called like I know no Ray, oh, Rayman three. Yeah, you're right. It was uh, Matter. Rayman Legends. I was talking about though. Sorry. Was um it was like a. Uh, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, uh, I'm alive, this is what it sounds like, oh, something like that. Uh, in terms of, like, main themes, though, 
this game kind of has one with the. I don't know if Rayman. I don't know if Rayman one or two had that though. Probably not. Maybe Rayman two, but not Rayman one. Well, Rayman two, I remember on the uh, N sixty four version, like the menu music was like that was the uh, the main menu music was the uh, the uh, the the passageway, the passage of doors. Right. Or the hallway of doors was it? Yeah, ho hallway of doors. I think Dreamcast is Island of Doors. And PS2 gets the whole hub world, which uh, is divided on whether that's a good or a bad thing. Your opinion? Uh, I haven't played enough of the enough of the game to really say, but I kind of like the Hall of Doors because of how quick it is to go to every world. Yeah, I love I love the Hall of Doors. Yeah, and yeah, it does look more visually interesting to me, honestly. Yeah.